Instead of the easygoing rock of the 60s and the psychedelic stuff, which was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the bass drum is on one and three, and the snare drum is on the back beat, or two and the four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's all easygoing. Now what happened is when the riots starting in, in the United States was burning and and um, Black Panthers were trying to take care of business, and um, Nixon was freaked out. So it's like what they did from the music standpoint, James Brown, everybody, they doubled up the beat. Even Paul Simon, everybody doubled it up. Instead of going, now they hit it on every beat. So, of course, Sly and the Family Stone made a lot of good music with that groove. It's a combination of rhythm and blues and rock and roll, country and rockabilly and everything thrown together. And it's insistent and it will not be ignored. It gets in your face and it stays there until people start to dance. So you see it's not funky in the old school sense. It's a it's a it's a funk, but it's a it's a funk march. It's very aggressive. And uh, and it again it comes out of the gospel church, you know. The African American uh, gospel church groups. You can drive that rhythm with just a tambourine. So for the drummer to be able to play that, this is just going to go automatically. So that's, that's, that's the thing that doesn't change very much until you get to the fill. The bass drum is throwing in the funk, putting where the syncopated rhythms are. And it's an unusual syncopation. music slide. I just heard that. Thank you, Louise. You know, sent it to us. And it reminded me, of course, these were the driving revolution.